Audio has reportedly been found of Corey Feldman giving police names of alleged Hollywood pedophiles back in 1993. The Goonies star has claimed that he was abused during the early years of his career and launched an Indiegogo campaign to raise money to create a documentary to expose the alleged pedophilia in Hollywood. Read more, Corey Feldman names second alleged sexual abuser on the drive. Ounce show in October, Feldman said that he had given names of alleged Hollywood sexual predators to the Santa Barbara County Sheriff's Office in 1993 during an investigation into molestation charges against the late Michael Jackson. The Sheriff's Office initially denied Feldman's claims but now they recently said tapes of his interview have been discovered, according to The Hollywood Reporter. Following the recent inquiries into the Sheriff's Office interview of Mr. Feldman in 1993, the Santa Barbara County Sheriff's Office conducted an additional review for any stored items remaining from the Michael Jackson investigation, according to a statement from the Sheriff's Office. The statement continues, in a container which included the original reports from the investigation, the Sheriff's Office located some detective working copies of audio recordings made during the investigation. A copy of Mr. Feldman's interview was located. The recording is being turned over to the Los Angeles Police Department. Read more, Corey Feldman reveals name of one of his alleged molesters. No other information was released. Los Angeles Police declined to comment on the tape. The Lapound previously said that its investigation had been dropped into claims from Feldman that a pedophile ring had been victimizing young actors in Hollywood because too much time had passed since the alleged incidents. Read more, Corey Himes' mom calls Corey Feldman a scam artist after pedophile ring claims. Feldman filed a report with Los Angeles police early last month after publicly naming some of his alleged abusers while on the drive. Ounce show. In October, Feldman launched his Indiegogo campaign to help raise $10 million, a flexible target, to make a movie about his life. He wants to make the movie without the help of a studio so he can avoid censorship, and says that he will use the donated money to ensure the film gets distributed to theaters for wide release. So far, the campaign has raised just over $260,300.